Well, this may be the development trend of GSS products. As we all know, compared to the GSS receiver 20 years ago, modern RTK receivers are smaller but smarter. High targets keeps up with the pace of technology development, making the antenna small while ensuring that it receives and selects enough high-quality GSS position signals to provide high-precision location service. This is what we can have in high target V200 GNSS receiver. It has an ultra compact and rugged design, only 8 gram weight, most lightest RTK receiver with built in battery in the world. By next generation of RTK algorithm and advanced IMU sensor inside, surveyors work can be more efficient without leveling receiver and get into the positions that we haven't been able to get into before. Compared with third-party companies' products, you may think it can only be set as lower view internet, but actually, it can be set as base station due to its high-performance built-in radio. So the V200 is also an internet smart product. We can use different platform cell phone, tablet to manage it via its web UI interface. Uh, here, we optimize the location of NFC to make it more convenient for connecting so, uh, controller and GSS receiver. After powering on V200, just one touch. The field survey software will be waked up. And if you have set V200 as lower before, you can just, just get a fixed solution in few seconds. Okay, right now we get a fixed solution and uh, we, we can just go to start our work. As surveyors, we have to work in different outside environments. So is the GNSS receiver. Of course, the most basic and most important thing is that the receiver can track more satellite signals. Here, let's have a look at the V200 satellite tracking performance in different environments. As you can see here uh, in the open scale, Hathaway load in Hathaway load software, Skyport interface, we get totally more than 15 satellites. They come from GPS, GLONASS, PDS, and Galileo. Also, the PDOP is only 0.8, and the satellite geometry is very nice. And then let's just hit the status in this interface. We can check all the SNR value here, and all of them is above 40, means that V200 not only can track more satellite signal, but also over a high quality date. Let's make it in no status. As you can see in just a few seconds, the fixed solution get back. As we can see here, even in this kind of environment, uh, we get more than 14 satellites and the PDOP is only 0.9. And then after that, we click status icon and we can find out most of the SNR is above 14 or close to 14. Let's get back to the surveying interface and we make it in no status. Get back. So you can see in just a few seconds, you get a fixed solution.
Now IMAP sensor has been integrated in more and more GNSS receiver. It allows points to be measured without a leveling bubble and help us measure some points that we cannot get before. But most of them create big error when the inclination of core is more than 30 degrees. And if receivers stop moving for more than 30 seconds, the test compensation would be stopped. But we don't need to worry about this part with high target V200. The new MU sensor inside it can offer us better performance when the inc uh, inclination is more than 13 degrees and keep tears conversation for more than three minutes without moving okay let's have a look to know how it works in high sway low software and then have a small test to check its tear sway performance okay just get back to the detail sway interface and then we hit the configure icon in this interface and that icon then swipe the list and find the tear sway icon, turn on it and get back. So you will find two brief receiver icons in this interface. One is at the right down corner of this interface. It helps us switch model from rigorous way to tear sway. And another is in the floating window. It helps us initialize the MU sensor. Right now we just need to uh, initialize the MU sensor. Okay, there are three items in, in this interface after you click the icon in the floating window. First, you need to get a bigger solution. Second, just keep it uh, still and no move. And third, only need to shake it for 5 or 8 seconds. Now, let's just shake. And the V200 will remind you that initialization is finished. And after that, we do our small test to check its tear sway performance. First, we switch to normal sway model and we measure one point here. Name it point zero. And we turn on the tear sway model. And after that, we tilt 15 degree and measure another point. 13 degree. And even 16 degree. And after that, we get back to the point level list. And you will find even the last point, 16 degree initialization, there, are, there is only four centimeters arrows between the first point to the fourth point. Okay, this is how it works in sway mode. And let, let's try and uh, show you how it works in staking out mode. All right, let's see how it works in staking out interface. Just go to click the stake points icon and we get back into the stake point interface and we will go 10 meters far away from here and measure one point with tilt sway function okay we'll click Sway and the name is 0.4. And then we will try to stake out the first point we measured before. We get the stake point list and select the 0 0.0 from coordinates point library. And we click OK. OK, continue. Then we just need to follow the guide in high sway load software to find the first point. Okay, it's very easy. And uh, we just need to use the polo tip to target the point need to be staked. And as you can see, my pole is tilted, no leveling. So 
It's very convenient and easy to find out the points. And second, we try to use, we get back to the stake point list and select the point we measured just now, point 4, and we click OK. And we will use AR stake out to find it. Okay, just follow the guide in the highest reload software. When you close to the point, there is a brief receiver. And if you tilt it, the receiver in the ISO load software will be tilted. And the same, use the virtual photo tip to target the points, and the point is to be staked out. Okay, as we mentioned before, it can keep in tilt sway mode for more than three minutes without moving. So let's just have a test right now. Okay, we hit the icon in the bottom window and we check it. Okay, we just need, need to wait. Compensation stopped. Anyway, with high target V200 GNSS receiver, the tilt pole tip position has been released from leveling. Means that you can measure points that you couldn't measure before. For instance, building corners placed too high to see the physical bubble beside load without getting caught. Help you increase your productivity in both surveying and the staking out work. So, in order to allow surveyors continue working in more environments where well, they could not work before, High Target released High Fix function, which can help surveyors get fixed solution even if they lose the correction from base or internet on the bad environment. Let's have a look to know how it works in high reload software and then have a small test to check its performance. So firstly, we go to device interface of high sway and we will find the additional setting, end it and the receiver setting and then turn on the high fix function and press set. And then we get back to the detail survey interface. And after that, we need to, because we need to have a small test and we need to measure one point in normal survey mode. And the leveling bubble, measure one point, point two. And after that, we disconnect the internet, which means we disconnect coordinates from base station. We click the control icon in the floating window and this disconnect the server. Right now, we can get back. We can find the latency in the floating window is increasing and the coordinates are actually. No big change in this kind of environment. Too much building mirror, even on the trees. So, at this environment, this situation, we measure another point. Uh, 
point three. And after that, we make it in non-status. Okay, fix again, very faster, and we measure this point again. Also, we can check tilt sway with high fix function together right now. And we turn on the tilt sway mode and just do initialization like before. Check it. Tilt compensation started. Okay, done. And then we tilt the receiver. Measure one point. 0.5. You see the increase, uh, the latency now is more than 100 seconds. We get back, we fix again, we get back. Project point libraries. We check these four points. It's almost the same from the point 0.2 to point 0.5. Okay, this is how it works. How fix high fix works in bad condition and we hope this function can help surveyors uh, work in more challenging environments. As we upgraded the CAD engine in high survey load software, it can allow us import 15 megabyte size file in few seconds and display more complicated hit file without features used ensuring a better user experience and productivity.